Hey everyone, it's Joe Isaias from the Automator. Today we're looking at a tool that, that we use here at the Automator, Isaias uses mostly, and we're getting Irfan on it as well, to track, keep track of where you're spending your time by projects and it's not, and that way at the end of the, you know, every two weeks is when we do our, our we square the books, we can say, hey, how much time do you spend on each project so we understand mm -hmm. what to build our clients but also it helps me, this is my, the really important part. It's like, look, even if you're not billing, you really should be tracking how much time you do on different things because yeah. it's easy for you to not realize how much time is going into something. And when right. you're doing it this way, it only takes a little bit of time to right. log it, to make sure you have it. And then you have metrics to understand where you're spending your time. So right. uh, is it going to walk us through how he uses the tool? Right. The tool has a lot of uh, little things that you might use. But the simple setup is that you set up a project and inside the project, you set up tasks. I, myself, just have one project. I would call it, you know, the automator. So I'm just working for you right now. Uh, and the way how we track it is per client. So each task is a client, technically. Right. You can define it however you want. You can start working on a specific project, let's say that, the program or whatever. And in that project, you have several tasks that you have to complete however you want. It is really flexible. Now, after you set up the first project, it's very easy to set up. You go to the time tracker. There are two ways of tracking time. One of them is the automatic one in which you just hit the start button, which is the default. And it just keeps track of whatever you're doing. That's it. And then you just go back to work and start working. The only thing that you do have to and what you have to do is set what the task is. So you select your task and um, say, for example, in my case, Mike C, select it. And that, when once I hit stop, it will mark it like one of these, Mike C, when I started working, when I stopped working, how long that is. That's it. Now, the interesting thing about that is, and there it is. So now I have two for it, one of them that I started with. For 12 until 4.13, that's it. You can delete, duplicate, do those kind of things. That's the, the simple way. And there's the manual way in which you say, okay, no, I didn't track it. I forgot. And sometimes that happens to me. Like, for example, we start a call <clears throat> with a live call. And then I go back and say, okay, no, you know what? Yesterday, for, so yesterday from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., we had a call with whoever. So then I go ahead and set my task to whatever it was, and I just add it, and it will put it right there. That's it. Those are the two ways of tracking time. I most of the time use the timer, unless for whatever reason, I forgot. We switch between projects very often. So there are a lot of times I just say like, hold on, uh, at the end of the day, oh, today I work on this one thing and I didn't mark it, and I just put it. Later on, when you go to your reports, then you can see the time that you have spent. And you can basically use filters to say, I want to see the time that I um, used on a specific person. In this case, as we are tracking people, you, we say, hey, how many um, hours have we spent with X client? I just look for the client name and that's it. So with the filters, uh, as I name my tasks, the name of the person that we're working with, then I just go ahead and use my filter for the task, look for the name of the person, and it will tell me how much time I spent this month on that project. And then it will tell you, okay, this is the amount of time that that project took, whatever it is. So uh, you have different ways of seeing your report, um, which is basically what I do. I just send you a screenshot of how many times, uh, how many hours I worked um, during this particular week or whatever. And that's what I use it for. And for that usage, it is free. You can use it as much as you want. There is no charge. They start charging you for additional options, right? And the one that I use it for is for creating invoices. At that point, I hit uh, create invoice. It automatically creates an invoice for the time frame that you select. So you say, I want an invoice for this week. It automatically grabs all your billable hours and puts them in there and you just say, oh, yeah, that's good, send it, that's it. So for that time, for that, um, it is a really, really easy to use tool. I mainly spend my time in the time tracker 
And sometimes I enter into projects to add a new client or to add a new task. That's it. After that, the only thing is my report. I just send you a report. I think in some paid versions, you have a way to send those reports automatically per email. So you just set it up and it just goes automatically, sends an email to the other person. And that's it. The, the other thing, if you're new to this, now years ago, um, a couple different places I've had to track my time. And it definitely is easy to get busy and then for, or switch between things and forget. Mm -hmm. The tool that we made a couple weeks ago with working with Ryan Wells um, yeah. that tracked the active program you've been in, that might, if you're not yeah. used to doing this, that's where having a log of the programs you had open and it, and it doesn't track your key log. It's not that, it just tracks the active program. Window. You and when you've switched and stuff and how long you were there, that could be a really helpful tool if you're new to this to be like, oh, look, I was in, I was working in Excel and this thing. Oh, that, I remember that project. This is what I was mm -hmm. looking for. And help mm -hmm. you kind of map it back because it, it, when you're not used to this, it, it's just a habit, right? And once you get used to it, it's not hard to remember to go update it. But at first it, it I, I, I guarantee at the beginning, I had a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, I forgot again, I forgot again. But the cool thing is that they do have an app for your phone. So sometimes nice. what I do is that I just put it on the app, on, on the phone, right? And if it is time for me to take a break, like I'm going to go ahead and grab lunch and I forgot to stop it, yeah. I go to the phone and just stop it from the phone. And it, they're safe all the time. So, Isaias, you're going to love this thought because because we're just starting to use the uh, Elgato Stream Decks, right? Right. It would Actually, be a button in there. To just switch between who you're working for, right? You yeah. might be onto a different person. How kick butt that would be, right? To just yeah. like, hit it in a heartbeat. Like, that's that's very cool. But as, as we said earlier, too, while this is really great for billing in the set, it's also really, really, really important to track where you spend your time, even if you're not billing for it, just to know... Because, you know, time uh, projects grow to the how much time you give them. So if you don't actually limit how much time someone, it can take forever to do, you know, to get around because you just keep spending time in something that you don't have a limit on. And it, it, when you track it, things that are tracked are things that really you start watching and go, wow, oh, I didn't realize how much time. I was. But if you don't track it, it's really hard to notice how much time you waste and do on different things. So. Definitely consider some way of tracking your time. This is a great free solution unless you do some more. And I know from talking to Zayas, as he said, this tool is crazy powerful. Like it does really advanced stuff. And, and this is just touching the right. very beginnings of the surface of it. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please like it. It really helps us out. Uh, make sure you watch, uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.